this video we are going to solve WASI 2019 physics practical a question under pendulum the introductory part of the question says you are provided with a stopwatch a meter rule a split cock we don't have one so we can fold a paper and use it in place of the split cock retort stand and clamp a pendulum ball a piece of thread and other necessary apparatus the eye part of the question says place the retort stand on the laboratory's tool clamp the split cock for ii part of the question we are to fix the retort stand in such a way that the distance between the split cock and the floor is 100 centimeters which is the full length of the meter rule and we are going to suspend the pendulum bulb at a certain distance y from the floor at this part of the question we are to adjust the thread such that the middle of the pendulum bulb is at a distance of 20 centimeters from the floor. So we measure 20 centimeters from the floor. 20 centimeters. At this part of the question, we are going to displace the bulb and then take the time T for 20 complete oscillations. The time taking for the bulb to move from the point of release and come back is the time for one complete oscillation. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we have, we have 35.8. So the distance is 20 centimeters divided by 100 is 0 0.2 meters and the time for 20 complete oscillations is 35.8 seconds Ivan determine the period t of 20 oscillations and evaluate t square so t is the time for 20 complete oscillations and the period is the time for one complete oscillation. So we divide this time by 20 to get the period. And we are to evaluate T squared. So we square 1.79 to get 3.20. We are going to repeat the procedure for four other values of Y is equal to 30, 40, 50 and 60 centimeters. In each case, we will determine the period and then the period square and then tabulate the results.
So we measure 30 centimeters, that is 0 0.3 meters from the floor to the center of the pendulum bulb, displace it and record the time for 20 complete oscillation. We get 33.5 seconds approximately. Then we divide the time t by 20 to get the period and also square the period to get t squared. We do the same thing for 40 centimeters, that is 0 0.4 meters, 50 centimeters, that's 0 0.5 meters, and also 60 centimeters, that is 0 0.6 meters and then fill the table. I x plot a graph of t square on the vertical axis and y on the horizontal axis, starting both axes from the origin 0, 0. So our plotted values are going to be t square and then y. But we have to convert these values to standard form before we can plot it easily. So we remove these points 1, 2. So it will be 320 times 10 exponent negative 2. Remove this point to 281 and this will also be 239 two zero zero and then one six five we change this one to to standard form by removing the point twice so we have 20 here 30 40 50 and then 60 so we are going to plot these values so we draw our vertical and horizontal axis And we have t square in second square as the vertical axis and y in meters as the horizontal axis. Then we choose a scale. Looking at the t square values, we can choose a scale of 2 centimeters to 40 times 10 is my negative 2 second square on the t square axis so have 0 40 80 120 160 200 and so on and looking at the y values we can choose a scale of 2 centimeters to 10 times 10 is my negative 2 meters on the y axis so we have 10 20 and so on and then when y is 20 t square is 320 so we have 20 and 320 here meeting at this point and also 40 divided by 10 is 4 so one small box is 4 so for 30 and 281 we have 30 here and 280 over here. If we should move one box, it will be 284, which is too much. So we maintain it there. So approximately, we can put our point here. And we have 40, 239. So we can plot that one to 40, 240, approximately. Now 50, 200, 50. 200 should be here and 60 165 60 here this is 160 if we move one box that will be 164 approximately that will be okay and then we draw the line of best fit which passes through as many points as possible 
x determine the slope s of the graph and the intercept c on the vertical axis so for the slope we draw a line vertical line and then horizontal line like this we label here a b and then c the slope is change in ca over change in ab for the change in ca we have 320 minus 200 times 10 exponent negative 2 and for the change in ab we have 20 minus 50 also times 10 exponent negative 2 so 10 exponent negative 2 will cancel out and 320 minus 200 is 120 and 20 minus 50 is negative 30 when we divide we should get negative 4 second square as the numerator is in second square per meter denominator is in meter for the intercept on the vertical axis the straight line cuts the vertical axis at 400 so the intercept c is equal to 400 times 10 exponent negative 2 and 400 times 10 exponent negative 2 is 4 second square that's the unit for the vertical axis xi if in this experiment sr is equal to c calculate r so we have sr is equal to c we are looking for r so we divide through by s so we have r is equal to c over s and then we fix the values for c and x c is 4 second square and the slope s is negative 4 second square per meter second square will cancel out and 4 over negative 4 is negative 1 we reciprocate per meter and get meter so r is equal to negative 1 meter